What's up guys? Matco Michael just pulled up. I got a super awesome mail call this week from Hilltop Machine. So be sure to watch the end of this video because this thing is amazing. You guys come take a look. Let's take a look and see what's on the Matco truck today. That was a lot of words of look, but you guys get what I mean. We're going to look now. Come on. I said look like 10 times in the intro. All like, right, look, I was look, looking. look. Diesel. He got to go back out there. Diesel, come here. He's like, why not? I'm sitting up. Look at him. He just froze. Diesel. He said, I need some Matco tools. Looks like you just watched me, Diesel. <laughs> All right. You got Michael's blessing, so you need to be good. Well, 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 look at all the goodies today. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Yup. So what's the deal on the big truck scan tool? Y'all got all that worked out yet? They, the Maximus 3.0 does have an HD uh, version to it. And uh, they are, they're selling them. Uh, I don't have just a whole lot of big truck stocks. I mean, y'all are one of them, but from the ones that's selling them, I'm getting great feedback. Cause here's the thing, it'll do from a Honda Accord to a Peterbilt, right? If you buy the HD module with, you can buy the HD module with just the HD module, or you can buy the HD module with the uh, light all vehicle. One. Yeah, you can buy them both. So if you buy them all in one, yeah, it'll do from bottom to top. If you buy just the HD module, no, it, it won't. So the best bet would be to do buy it where it would do both. All right. I think they can get us a demo with that we're going to try it out. I can possibly get a demo. Um, I'll try my best. Cool, cool. cool. That's all you can ask for. What, uh, that magnetic socket? Let me look and see. Come in. What y'all don't think? I'm digging in boxes back there. Forward fuel filter socket. Dual. Y'all look how good these guys look. Everybody was fussing at Wally and I having a hat on. So he got a hat on, a decent medic shirt. Bill's got a coon trucking shirt, coon trucking hat. Everybody looking good today. Looking good. In case you guys want to purchase one of these awesome diesel medic shirts, you can go. There should be a ticker down here at the bottom somewhere if you're watching on a mobile device to Teespring. And there's also all those fancy came trucking shirts. Go check them out. Stickers, all kind of good stuff on there. It did come in. It did come in. Look at that. Well, I have to admit, Michael, I've been using that ratchet I bought like that. Yeah. I like it. I love that ratchet. It is a good ratchet. I like it. Diesel ain't help him out. Yeah, we're going to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. You ain't found nothing you need, Wally? Not at the moment. He ain't got no jobs hiding back here nowhere, does he? I'll see. <laughs> I know, I've got the box and everything. Oh, you, may, you never know. You know, we're just talking about the electrical issue. You may, never know. Me? Well, we need some jobs hiding back there. I need, I need about six dozen of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you got new? I see you got something pulled out. We've got a master relay bypass kit that uh, come out. And, you know, we've had the ones that is just a relay that you flip the switch on it. Those work great to me. They they were great. Now that they've come out on this one, it's a little different. So you still plug it into the relay port, but now you got a button with a five foot cord. Wow. So if it's under a dash, you're trying to hear something outside click when you turn the relay on, guess what? You plug it in, you run out there, we press the button, see if it's actually working. 
that's nice. I got the ones like you're talking about. It's got the switch on it. Yeah. Yeah, that right there would be very easy. Well, not only underneath the dash, but if you're outside and you're, you're trying to watch the scan tool. So, I don't know. When I worked at the dealership, it seemed like nobody ever plugged the computer up, ever. Ever, ever, ever. So when I got it, I had to plug it into the cigarette lighter, and it would only go so far. After I got done cussing everybody, I was still having to try to diagnose the car. Well, I, now I can plug this in and go to the scan tool and watch to see if it's working or not. Now, if, you know, I'm sure y'all all put scan tool in, but. That's nice. Really yeah, it's nice. got different ones. Plug it in, test what you need to test. Handy, like AC compressor or something. That's exactly what I was thinking yeah. of, right there to kick that AC compressor on. Anything and everything, right? Mm-hmm. That is a nice. It's that time of the year. You know, I I have worked on cars where people have uh, kind of did this theory in a not so safe way, and they'll run <laughs> a switch inside to either a start the starter solenoid or just something. They just flip the switch and be able to do something. I like to just use this. I mean, it's a little better, right? What is that kit, Ryan? That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Is that Wally approved? That's definitely Wally approved right there. Wally that approved. Bill, is that Bill approved? That's Bill approved. <clears throat> it's got to last longer than the snap-on push-button remote start switch, huh? Yep. <laughs> If Wally don't leave it laying in the floor and run over it. Runs about 160. 160. Tell Michael what happened with your favorite little ratchet the other day. A little three inch drive ratchet on a quarter inch body. Yeah. Wally was uh, bleeding some brakes. He said, hand me a eight millimeter. So I handed him a ratchet and a socket and a wrench. <clears throat> he goes to back the vehicle out. I look and he runs right over my ratchet. Uh oh. Yeah, like over the top of it. So his his gold Whoops. ratchet is fixing to have some initials engraved on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have an incendiary tail on it. So does it still work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It still works. But it just sucks that it got run over. Run Wally said ratchet. I put it in my toolbox. I don't know what y'all were fussing about. <laughs> <laughs> this toolbox is the floor. The shop floor. <laughs> You know, most people dream about having a Mr. Big. Wally's toe box is an 80 by 120. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole freaking thing. Man. That's it. Well, you're much better than that. The whole building. Say his gold ratchet's just about to be going Yeah, Bill said he was going to put it on some batteries and arc it a few times and see how well it works. I've been taking extra care of the gold ratchet, too. All right, guys. Be sure to check out those T springs links if you want a diesel medic or coon truck in shirt stickers hoodies long sleeve shirts all that good stuff and uh we're gonna get some stuff from michael and cut this thing off be sure to watch at the end of the video and that way you guys can see how cool this is yeah, thanks, mike. Thanks. yeah mike i'm sorry tom now is who made this um, and uh Michael says, thanks for uh, knocking me out of a sale of a brass <laughs> punch. <laughs> All right, guys, be sure to watch the end of the video for that because it's going to be pretty neat. You guys will like seeing that. Like always, hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Click that subscribe button because why, Wally? Free. Totally free. Totally. totally free. All right, you guys have a great one. Catch you next time.